Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Friday, November 15th. So this is going to be a quick update. I really haven't done very much this week. I had two really, really long work days, but I did finish the society of lies by Lauren Ling Brown. I don't have it with me cause it was a library book. So good. Absolutely loved it. Highly recommend. I decided um, to give the library a little bit of a break and get through a lot of the books that I have here in my to be read pile. So I'm currently reading and liking, because you can see how much I've gotten done already, Monica Arias, Don't Believe Him. So this is about husband and wife. He's a college professor and he's cheating on her. And it's about what she does. So, ooh boy, yeah. So quick chapters, really easy read. Remember I told you my friend Brandon got me the Lego bookshelf. So yesterday, I had never put together any Legos. Yesterday, I sat down and I put it together. I want to say it took me two hours. <laughs> Can you even right now? I mean, look, it has the ladder and her reading the book. And what I didn't realize, and he said it too, the chair is blue like mine is. It looks just like it. He said you can actually go on the internet and get different hair. I don't care about that. But look at the books. And it was so much fun to put together. The directions were really, really detailed. The bags were all labeled. I had so much fun doing this. I just put something on my iPad and went to town. And I just, I loved it. I love it so much. So I moved my Danielle's Library sign from my bookshelf over to the Stephen King bookshelf and I put this in its place. So this sits on top of my bookshelf. So, so cute. Absolutely love that. Now I did do a little bit of diamond painting, but not enough to like really, you know, show you guys. But what I did realize is I looked through my cross stitch stuff and I said, you know, I need to get back to doing some pillows and working on my sewing machine. You know, I wanted that sewing machine so badly last Christmas and my mom got it for me and I did three or four pillows and then haven't touched it in a year. So want to do more of that and especially with Primrose Cottage Stitches patterns because they always do tutorials and a lot of their finishes are pillows. So I looked through my patterns that I had and I decided I want to do this one definitely. This is a Halloween one and it came in the sip and stitch box. No tricks, just treats. I want to do that pillow finish because they had included the finishing kit with it. So I have everything here to do it. And I also have, they included the DMC. Now I have the DMC of course. So what I did was I went on their website. I tried to get it at one, two, three stitch, but they were sold out. The actual fabric that is used here, which is 32 count stormy night Lugana. So I ordered that and it's shipped today. So I'm hoping to have that by next week. But the other one I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to do this one first before the pillow finish, just because it's Christmas. Last year I bought their snowman 2024. Are you kidding me right now? Look how cute that is. And the finishing kit. And the board. Their dad is a woodworker. So I even got the board. This will be my first time finishing something into a circle like this. So they have a tutorial on their YouTube channel. I'm sure they do. But they give you like the template to cut the circle out and everything. Oh my God, can't wait. Yeah, isn't it so cute? Are you kidding? So I ordered this fabric too, which is 32 count taupe. Yeah, I didn't have any of that. So ordered those two from Primrose Cottage Stitches directly, and I'm just waiting for them to come in the mail. Like I said, it's shipped today, so I figure I'll have it by next week. And then I will get to working on those two. Yeah, I told Bill, I said, you know, it makes no sense to just keep amassing cross stitch stuff or diamond painting stuff for that matter. If I'm not sitting here doing the stuff I currently have now, 
The one thing I do want to get, but I'm waiting until I am done these. Literally, that's my, what I really want to try to do. Just stop amassing so much stuff. The current typography, the Christmas typography that they released, and I, I don't know if it's called Christmas Letters. I forget what it's called. Well, they wound up, the way they finished them, Lindsay, I think, she took pieces of the words and did little pillows. It looks so cute. And that would be an easy way to, to finish more pillows and get, you know, the words, words coming out of my mouth. Um, get better on the sewing machine. I told Bill, if I don't start making these pillows and working on the sewing machine, I'm never going to get any better at it. It's almost like I need to start over from square one on the sewing machine because it's been a year almost since I've done anything on it. But yeah, won't that look so cute? Because again, I'm always like, what am I doing with these pieces when I am done? Because I was going to stitch that mermaid for in here, but I really don't have, I don't want to clutter up the space in here. So I'm pretty sure I'm done in here, except maybe for the library from the periodic table, you know, L-I-B-R, that, if I get to do that. But I really, they have so many of these pillows that they finished, and I love their patterns and the aesthetic of them, the way that they designed them inside. I don't have to mark them with a highlighter because they're just so easy to follow. Yeah, need to do more. And they're very, very good with their tutorials on YouTube. So, yes, that is the plan. And like I said, also giving um, the library a break with getting books. And then because if I read a book I really like, then I want to buy it for the library. I have so many books I've already bought. Let's read those already spent the money for it. So trying. I'm praying to God for guidance with that and just give me the strength to not want to constantly buy stuff. And you know, I was reading, I read a short story and it said something about how society doesn't want us happy because they can't sell us stuff then. Because you see something in an ad and you think it's going to change your life or make your life better and you buy it. And that's how we wind up with so much stuff. I'm guilty of it. I'm perfectly putting myself into that category. But yeah, I also love, so they are having a sip and stitch box release on Sunday and I have gone back and forth with purchasing it or not because again, do I need another mug or a cup? No. Do I need another cross stitch pattern right now? No. However, there's, their box is the only box I truly love. So I'm still on the fence. I messaged Jill and she probably thinks I'm a little bit psychotic because I was like, no, I'm not getting it. Then I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. Then I was like, no, I'm definitely not going to get it. And now I'm sort of on the fence, but their box is like 70 or $80. That is a chunk of change. But you usually get two patterns, the floss, finishing kits for them, and extra little doodads. It winds up, I feel like, being worth it. Plus, you get a mug or cup that is usually fantastic. I'm still thinking. Still thinking about it. Um, Sunday night, 8 o'clock p.m. my time is um, when it will be live to purchase. So we will see. But I hope you guys are all doing good and that you've had a good week. Like I said, I was off Thursday and Friday and I was so very grateful um, because Tuesday and Wednesday, whoo, long work days. But we are approaching Thanksgiving and the holiday season and I can't believe that that's all come upon us already. I'm going to have to think about Christmas shopping here soon. What? Yeah. And then another year will have passed us by and we will be heading into 2025. But yeah, so as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.